what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today i'm excited because i'm bringing you guys a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck deck profile and that is red eyes post maze of memories now all jokes aside this deck is actually not third rate it's actually pretty cool especially with the addition of red eyes soul which is an insanely powerful card and i'm gonna get into it when we get into the deck profile but if you guys enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five shorts you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed today's deck profile and with that let's get right into the video all right so just before we get into this deck profile i do want to say that i'm pretty excited to be showing it off to you guys but there's one thing i'm going to tell you guys in advance and that's tomorrow's video is going to be an fdk that you can actually do with red eyes and it's kind of crazy just because of this one card right over here red eye soul which is the brand new card that's your teaser for tomorrow's video but let's get into today's deck profile which is more or less the most competitive way to be playing red eyes in today's format and that's all because this card red eye soul is just so insane and does so many new things for the deck so with that being said we're playing two red eye soul to start the deck profile i'm gonna go in depth a little bit with this card because it's the newest card from maze of memories and the really cool thing about this card is it's just a rare so it's actually really affordable and really easy to get this card into the deck but what this card does for you is one it acts as a red eyes when it's on the field or in the graveyard which is really cool the other effect is if your opponent special summons a monster you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and you can special summon a red eyes monster from your your deck or your hand because it gives you access to a lot of different cards which i'll talk about when we get to them but it's really really powerful in that sense so going second this card is kind of like a magician soul for you which is kind of nice and then on top of that it has another effect where quick effect you can target a red eyes black dragon that you control and then you can burn your opponent for that much attack points so why is that really good it's insane because this deck now has essentially a gaga cowboy a way to burn your opponent in time and a way to win games in time which is just absolutely insane so this provides you with multiple different things that you can do it can also target itself keep that in mind because if you're going to be able to activate that effect you can target itself burn your opponent for 900 boom you win in time it's kind of crazy right so red eye soul obviously we're only playing two of we don't need the three of two of is just perfectly fine in this deck and it's level seven of course synergizes really well the entire deck making rank sevens is really nice so two red eye soul brand new card then we're playing three black metal dragon black metal dragon is the best normal summon of the deck this card is insane it synergizes with one first of all you're going to be able to search your cards which is this card is insane and it starts your combos being able to go into striker dragon and then two your rocket engine but on top of that it has another really cool effect that i feel like a lot of people forget about where you can actually attach it as a material to another red eyes card and that's actually really important because we're playing a single gear feed which we'll talk about that in a second but that effect does synergize really well so it's really nice to be playing three black battle dragon most important combo starter of your deck then we're playing the one red eyes wyvern red eyes wyvern has a really cool effect where during the end phase you can banish this card and summon a red eyes monster from your graveyard now why is that really cool first of all it lets you summon the red eyes soul back so if you want to be able to burn your opponent red eyes wyvern does that for you another thing that red eyes wyvern does for you that a lot of people forget about is that it can actually summon red eyes dark dragoon back from the graveyard if you initially summon this card and then your opponent somehow gets over it you can actually use the red eyes wyvern to summon this card back which is kind of insane being able to have a dragoon twice on your side of the field and forcing your opponent to out it twice is insanely difficult so that's why red eyes wyvern of course a very powerful one of we're playing one red eyes darkness metal dragon it's a very powerful card every dragon deck plays this card it's absolutely insane one gear free gear free has a really cool effect first of all it synergizes really well with red eyes fang with chain but it also synergizes like i mentioned earlier with black metal dragon which is really nice because this can equip itself to the gear freed and then you can now use the gear freed effect so what are the gear freed effects essentially this card can destroy an equipped card that's equipped to it and then destroy a back row your opponent controls so one it's going to be back row hate which is really nice but two you can send an equipped card you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard and target a level seven or lower red eyes monster to special summon it now why is that really cool so first of all you can always send red eyes fan with chain or whatever you want to do to get that effect but the really cool thing with the black metal dragon is if this card's attached you can activate your gear freed send the black metal dragon special summon a red eyes monster back from your graveyard so it could be your red eyes soul it could be your red eyes black dragon there's just a lot of different things you can do you can even summon back red eyes darkness metal dragon with gear freed and then because this was sent from the field to the graveyard you're going to be able to activate the black metal effect to search a card so there's just so much synergy with the gear freed and we're only playing the one because it is a red eyes by name which means the way you're going to be accessing this most of the time is off of your red eyes soul i will say the only reason we're playing one is because we don't really want to use our normal summon on this we want to use our normal summon on the black metal dragon so that's why we're playing the one gear freed because you're always going to be able to have access to it with the red
Red Eyes Soul, which is really nice. Then lastly, we're playing the one Red Eyes Black Dragon as well as the one Dark Magician. Helps you get into Dragoons. We only need one Red Eyes Black Dragon. You don't need to be playing two or three in this deck because you're always going to be recycling this card. And the thing with this card, honestly, you never really want to draw it. It never does anything for you in your hand. So you really just want to have the one of in your deck and you're always going to have access to it whenever you need to have access to it, right? So one Dark Magician and one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then we're playing three Red Eyes Insight. This card essentially is one of the most important searches of your deck. You send a Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard and then you can add a Red Eyes Spell or Trap. You can now add the Red Eyes Fusion, which is really nice, which is why we're only playing one Red Eyes Fusion. Keep in mind, the reason we're not maxing out on this card is because unlike a lot of decks that want to use Red Eyes Fusion, you don't really just want to end on a Dragoon and pass in this deck. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of decks that don't actually have an out to Dragoon and Dragoon can sometimes straight up win you games, but this deck has a lot more depth than just summoning Dragoon. So Red Eyes Fusion, while it's very powerful, it's not necessarily the go-to combo of the deck. And then we're also playing the one Red Eyes Fang with Chain. This card is also really good in a lot of situations. So we're playing the one Red Eyes Fang, synergizes really well with the Gear Freed, but then this card in general is just really powerful, right? So that's it for the Red Eyes Monsters. I'm going to count Dark Magician as a Red Eyes card because it's part of the engine, but this is it for the Red Eyes cards. Next, we're going to be talking about kind of the extenders of the deck and how this deck just pushes forward and does so much more than just the simplistic Red Eyes plays, right? So first of all, we're playing three Noctovision Dragon. Noctovision, we all know how powerful this card is. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Make Striker Dragon, Search a Card, Draw a Card, and then this gets to also be Special Summon, which is another body on your side of the field. Very, very powerful card. You need to be maxing out on three Noctovision Dragon. Then we're playing the one Black Dragon as well as the one White Dragon. These two are really good extenders for you. Synergize really well with Chaos Space as well. So you have to be playing these cards. Just helps you link climb a little bit further. Being able to link climb just makes it very powerful because you can end on boards with like Hieratic Seals plus IP Mascarena, which is really nice because that's how you kind of just build on like layers of disruption because you go Hieratic Seals, bounce, then you summon a monster, then you go IP Mascarena with that monster you summon into a unicorn. So now you have a unicorn and then on your following turn, you can use that unicorn plus any monster to make access code. So you guys kind of see how all that synergy works. So that's why you really need to be able to link climb and cards like Noctivision, cards like Black Dragon and White Dragon let you do that. And then cards like World Legacy, Dry Dragon do that for you as well. This is essentially a monster reborn once per turn for you, but it's also really nice because it can actually move cards in your main monster zone, which is really nice because that's how kind of you sometimes set up Pisty, which is very, very powerful, right? So that's why we're playing three World Legacy Guard Dragon. Then we're playing three Chaos Space, of course, very, very powerful consistency card in the deck, being able to give you access to your White Dragon and your Black Dragon, being able to put a card back into your deck, being able to help you draw a card. Very powerful card, Chaos Space. You need to be playing three. Then for, I guess, the other engine, which is a Rocket Engine, but these are kind of extenders for you as well. You're playing the one Boot Sector Launch, the one Absarado Dragon, the one Rocket Tracer, as well as the one Silver Rocket Dragon. Now, the reason I'm playing this package here is because essentially, once you do your full combo with this deck, or once you're able to do some sort of combos where you end on like Hieratic Seals and maybe something else, maybe Hieratic Seals and an IP, let's say, just the very basic combo here. A lot of the times during this combo, you're going to be able to search your boot sector launch because you're going to be able to make Striker Dragon. You're also going to be able to send Absarouter for a lot of plays, which means you're going to be able to have access to your Rocket Tracer, which now means after you do your full combo, you can end on something like a Borlode Savage Dragon because you can then do your boot sector launch and your Rocket combos, and then you essentially end on another form of disruption. So I really like these four cards. Very, very small engine, but this engine essentially gets you into a Omni Negate, which is very powerful, right? And then we're playing the one, one for one, of course, to get us to the Black Meadow Dragon as fast as possible. One Call by the Grave to help our combos go through. One Dragon Ravine, searchable off Romulus. And this is kind of also how you get Absarout into the graveyard so that this way your Rocket Engine now can become live. And then we're playing some Hand Traps. We're playing three Ash. I think it's just the most generic Hand Trap. You guys can play three Imperm here or three Nibiru if you guys wanted to. But I think three Ash just makes a lot of sense. It's just the most generic Hand Trap in the game. But again, these three slots could be any three Hand Traps that you guys think are necessary. But then these next cards over here, I think are very, very powerful in this deck. And that's three Magnemu as well as one Druid Swarm. So why are we playing the Bestials? Yes, I know it's not that great against Koshtara, but Bestials are still pretty good into a lot of different decks. And on top of that, the really cool thing with the Bestials is you don't always necessarily have to be banishing cards your opponent controls. You can banish your own cards to get these effects off. They're level sixes, which means you have access to something like a Tomb, which is really nice. A Tomb gives you access to something like your Red Eyes Darkness Metal, sometimes your Black Metal Dragon. So that's why this card is very powerful. So it's going to give you access to a rank six, which is really nice. But they're also extra bodies that you can link climb with. And like I was talking about earlier, being able to link climb and set up some link plays is very, very important in this deck, and these cards make it possible. Keep in mind, Magnum Mood searches any dragon in the end phase, so you don't have to search the Druid Swarm. I just had the Druid Swarm as a fourth name or a fourth body, I should say, the second name technically, right? But then Magnum Mood can search your Red Eyes Darkness Metal if you need to. It can search your baby dragons. It could really search any dragon in your deck, which is really, really nice. So it helps you kind of extend further. And going second is just a hand trap for you, which is really nice, right? So that's why we're playing the Bist Seals. I really like playing these Bist Seals. And that's it for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck, and it's, a, I think, a very, very consistent deck. It's a deck that 
that again doesn't set up the most crazy seven negate boards but it sets up boards with layers of interruption and those layers essentially lead up to an otk on the following turn which is really really powerful right so i really like this 40 card main deck wouldn't really change it up for the extra deck it's very standard dragon link stuff honestly anything you would find in a dragon deck you'd find in this one we're playing the one red eyes dark dragoon of course because one of the main boss monsters that this deck can make it's very very powerful it's just a win condition on its own sometimes one boil load savage dragon like i was mentioning with the rocket package one striker dragon one pisty one romulus one hieratic seals again all dragon link stuff that you guys would always see we're playing the one ip mascarena the one unicorn as well as the one access code this is kind of an otk package for you now while ip mascarena necessarily isn't part of an otk package what ip mascarena lets you do is it lets you go into unicorn which is a form of disruption which then on your follow-up you can use unicorn plus any monster to go into access code to now help you otk of course then we're playing the one hieratic dragon king a tomb a tomb is very powerful like i said with the bestial monsters you can get into any dragon monster that you need with this card so it's really really powerful we're playing the one red eyes flare metal dragon this card of course if your opponent is down on life points and you haven't been able to otk you haven't been able to finish them off you can end on a red eyes flare metal and this way they're on a timer which is very very powerful one big eye because this is a very powerful rank 7 monster that you guys can make in today's format this deck can make rank 7s pretty easily and then lastly we're playing the one odd eyes rebellion as well as the one odd eyes rebellion overlord this is another otk package for you if you don't have access to these guys over here as long as you can get two level sevens on the board and you can make a rank seven monster you can make your odd eyes rebellion odd eyes rebellion then goes into overlord and then you're able to try to otk with this card so it just gives you another otk package another otk option and then lastly we're playing the one zeus because we're playing all these ixies monsters we can play zeus which is really really powerful so that's it for the deck profile i really don't want to make it too long here for the extra deck because this is very standard it's very easy stuff to like really understand but this main deck i think is very very consistent it's very very powerful and again your boards ideally are going to end on like a hieratic seal plus an ip and that board alone is just super super powerful and again with your boot sector launch combo you're also going to have that form of disruption in the savage dragon so that's it for the deck i highly highly recommend you guys try it out for yourself i think this deck is very much affordable now i, I don't see anything in this main deck that's really too expensive in today's format especially because red eye soul is now a rare it makes it so that this deck is actually very very budget which is really nice yes there are some cards here that may have some value i know access code is a little bit pricey i don't think anything here maybe big eye is a little bit pricey as well but again big eye can be any rank 7 monster access code i would still highly recommend playing just because it's so powerful but technically it could be spoil sword dragon as well you can definitely make boral sword in this deck if you wanted a cheaper alternative but again this deck is very powerful it's most of the time like relatively budget i would say and it's a very fun deck to play so i highly recommend you try it out for yourselves so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on red eyes for today's format post maze of memories it introduced a really powerful card in red eyes soul and this deck just synergizes so well together it's very consistent very powerful it can otk it can set up boards can do a ton of different things now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five short videos you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoy and with that thank you signing up